what if I'm trying to do my house and I found this design build, this contractor who also does design? Yeah. Like, can I just go with them? Legally, most likely you can, and you have the option to. For design build, I will say that if a design build office is led by an architect, it's probably pretty good. If a design build office was founded and is mainly run and headed up by led by a contractor, I'm much more skeptical of that. It's, well, it's, and, 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 and that's because of a few things, right? Architecture office, who started as architecture office and eventually expanded to design build, mm -hmm. Oftentimes, it's because they do have the design expertise, yep. but they're lacking the knowledge of pricing or they want more flexibility in-house to achieve the design that they're trying to do. Or more control over the construction quality. Or more quality. control over the construction quality, yeah. the construction cost, the construction uh, schedules. And even sometimes just, you know, even teaming with a, a builder in-house to come up with solutions that are more innovative and enhance the design. That's pretty much why they went to design build. The contractor, general contractors, who eventually is branding the business as design build, they might have a draftsman in house, yeah, like a, a freelancer yeah. or a young kid who come out of architecture school to do some CAD drawings and some quick 3D stuff. But that's not their original expertise. The original expertise is building. So if they have someone in house, it's kind of accessory at this point. Like you would rarely find a thirty-year-old uh, of experience architects working in those offices. Yeah, no. Because they, I mean, it sucks. But at least in California, and where we've been exposed to, oftentimes they do that to market themselves as designers and get yeah. more projects. I think it's. I, I think you're totally right. It's like really important for clients to to really ask if you're going a design build route or actually any route. Like, okay. Who is designing this thing? How much experience have they? Can I meet them? Like you're totally right. A lot of the design build and quotes uh, firms it's and offices we found it's more of a mar it's more like okay, no, your build with a little sprinkle of design, maybe right? It, more like drafting in a lot of yeah. cases. If I was a client, I would do my homework and be extremely careful. I know, and I, we come across a, a fair number of clients who are really convinced by this one-stop shop. Yeah business model and i get it i understand the appeal because yeah. it's like i just have one big payment to make they take care of everything mm -hmm. they say they're good at it they've done a bunch of homes in this neighborhood everyone says they did my home so they're going to do mine as well and i get because everyone if 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 you're older and you're listening to this you understand that whoever's at the top their attitude, their preference, their expertise, their persona, their emotion, their their personality, it all trickles down to the very bottom. Right. And if you have someone at the very top who is not an expert in design and is maybe not as passionate about it as well, it affects the product 100%. At the end of the day, it comes down to what you, the client, want. 